More and more, we are increasingly dependent on batteries. And batteries play an important role as we strive to reduce emissions and limit climate change. But the batteries of today have a big problem. They wear out much faster than we want. The problem of the batteries today, they, that is that you have some kind of degradation when you discharge and charge your battery. I'm here with my electrodes. Christina Edstrom is a professor of inorganic chemistry. She's working on developing a completely new solution for saving the health of batteries. She wants to create a self-healing battery. Most batteries consist of two poles. At the negative pole are electrons that want to transfer to the positive pole. But they are hindered by what are called electrolytes. When batteries are connected to a mobile phone, for example, the electrons start to flow through the phone. When all the electrons have moved over, the battery is dead and needs to be recharged. But every time a battery is discharged and recharged, the barrier layer of electrolytes gets worn down. It cracks, and eventually, the battery stops working. This project is to find ways that can self-heal the uh, particles that are cracking. Today, there are plenty of people doing battery research, but back in the 80s when Christina received her doctorate, there was no major interest in this area. Batteries were actually seen as quite boring, and it was seen like, why are you working on that? That can't be exciting. It was fantastic to be part, very early building this knowledge, for Sweden, we're absolutely pioneers. I mean, starting already in the 1980s. And now it's hotter than ever. This looks good. It looks like you've been managed to put uh, all the parts in uh, of the electrodes and the... Christina has her own unique approach to her research. That is, to understand batteries, she says, one must first understand people. The concept you to use for describing people, you also use for batteries. You're talking about the aging group, you're talking about lifetime, you're talking about state of health. There are some similarities, actually. Really make them stable and what electrolyte you have. Because if you think of batteries like humans, what do you do when they get sick and their components slowly break down? We are giving the battery medicine, but just a little bit, so that it's not too much. So it's making the battery heavier, so you will lose energy because of that, but enough so that you can get very smooth interfaces between the different components in the battery. The inspiration comes from common medicine. The idea is that the batteries should have a component inside them like a pill. When the boundary layer of electrolytes begins to wear and crack, the pill dissolves and seeps out. The medicine then creates a protective film by the electrolytes, preventing this layer from breaking. By doing this, the batteries can last much longer after healing themselves. This is an extremely difficult process but Christina is well on her way. So what we have started with is to make some kind of plastics polymer that we use to bind electrodes that are swelling and contracting a lot when you are discharging and, and uh, discharging respectively. And it seems to work. If Christina and her team's technology works, they may have found that particular medicine that will eventually make the batteries self-healing. And with access to such batteries, we could store energy with much less impact on our planet. Well, my ultimate dream is that I can say that we have actually contributed to some aspects that gives mankind a much, much better way of storing energy and to be efficient in a sustainable way.